Deputy Vice Chancellor of the Health, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Animal Services, the Registrar, the University Liberia, the Inaugural Lecturer, the Provost, Deans, Directors, Heads of Departments, Distinguished Professors, Distinguished Scholars, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Today, we are gathered to listen to the 228th inaugural lecture of this great university titled Modulating the Mediators of Life Processes, the Strategic Place of Enzymes in Health and Wellness. I have the pleasure to introduce the guest lecturer, the inaugural lecturer, Professor Wutin Obusaya. Professor Rotin Ulusaya Arishe was born on 1st June 1973 in Akure, Ondo State. He attended Africa Church Grammar School, Oka, from 1986 to 1991, where he obtained his West African School Certificate. He won the Ondo State Government Scholarship from 1990 to 1991 as the best student in African Church Grammar School, Oka. Professor Alisha obtained his Bachelor's of Science degree in Biochemistry from the University of Illinois in 1998 and his Master's and Doctorate degree in Biochemistry also from the University of Illinois in 2002 and 2007 respectively. Professor Alisha started his working career as an assistant lecturer at the Department of Biochemistry at Benedictine University, Okada, in 2001. He joined the services of the of Learning also as an assistant lecturer in 2003 and rose through the ranks to become a professor of biochemistry in 2019. <laughs> His areas of research interest are enzymology and toxicology. Professor Alice is a member of many larger and professional bodies, including the National Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Nigerian Society for Experimental Biology, Chinese Chemical Society. Professor Isa is a certified molecular biologist by the New England Biolab Boston, United States of America. <laughs> he has successfully supervised several graduate students' projects, over 40 master's dissertation, and 70 PhD theses. He has discharged several administrative responsibilities as department, faculty, and university, as well as outside the university, and this, and this includes academic legal advisor between 2003 and 2010, acting head, medical biochemistry program, College of Health Sciences between 2011 and 2014, acting head of the branch of biochemistry 2014 to 2017, chairman of the quiz and debate committee 2008 and 2017. He led the committee to win awards for the university home and abroad. Science coach, university coaching crew for Zain Africa Challenge Quiz Competition 2009. Faculty representative on business committee of Convocation 2018 to date. Faculty representative on scholarship and award committee 2018 to date. Chairman timetable and rule series 2020 to date. Chairman investor of learning press board management 2022 to date. Professor Kamishi has over 100 publications in the particular data and information. He has edited conference proceedings and chapters in books. As an outstanding academic and researcher, Professor Kamishi has received several awards, several awards and grants, which include TWS Postdoctoral Fellowship Award, Italy Brazil 2009, in his Best of Law Faculty Based Service Research Grant Award in 2010. Gordon Research Conference Travel Award United States America from 2015 to 2018, Ted Fund 2016 Institutional Based Research Award, Bill and Melinda Gates Global Health Travel Award United States of America in 2017. 
Professor Arisha is the Secretary in this of the Chapter of Society for Experimental Biology of Nigeria, Chairman of Foundation of the Society for Experimental Biology of Nigeria, Financial Secretary, Tanken North Central Association of Residents 2018 to 2016. He has served as external examiner for Bachelor of Science Projects, Master's Dissertation, Doctoral Thesis, as well as Grant Proposal Reviewer, and Assessor for the Appointment of Readers and Professors within and outside the country. <laughs> Professor Rutina Elusola Arisha is happily married to Dr. Abimbola Kenishola Arisha. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Deputy Vice Chancellor Management Services, the Registrar of the University, the Bursa, the University Librarian, Provost of the College of Health Sciences, the Dean of the Faculty of Life Sciences, Deans of other faculties, postgraduate students and students affairs, Professor and other members of Senate, Directors of various units, Head of the Department of Biochemistry, Heads of other departments, all other academic colleagues, members of the administrative and technical staff, my law spiritual and temporal, the civil students of our chemistry, members of my family, nuclear and extended, gentlemen of the prick, electronic and new media, esteemed invited guests, friends and relations, great students of the University of Illinois, greater Utilorites, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I give adoration and praises to God, for from Him and through Him, and to him are all things. To him be the honor and glory forever and ever. Blessed be the name of the Lord for not only sparing my life today, but also for the grace he has given me to present the 228th inaugural lecture of the University of Illinois today, the 16th February 2023. I am very humbled and privileged by your presence today as I deliver this inaugural lecture. The presentation of my inaugural lecture is a significant milestone in the career of an academic and provides a platform to share past research experience and introduce new ideas to a diverse academic and non-academic audience. Vice Chancellor Sir, before I do justice to this, kindly permit me to provide historical highlights of inaugural lectures that have been delivered from the Department of Biochemistry, the first inaugural lecture since the inception of the Department of Biochemistry in 1977, entitled The Essential Living Life Spring Ball, was presented by Professor Hadewale Hagola Vitida of Blessed Lord. On 12 December 1985, as the 20th in the university, the second entitled Eat and Die by Little was delivered by Professor Mundu Ade Konji on 24 October 2002, while the third, the 78th, entitled Hall for the Love of Nutrient was presented by Professor Uze Uyelela on 26 May 2005. The fourth for the department, entitled The Little Giant in Food, was delivered by Professor Deni Keti Midayola on 22nd March 2012. While the fifth, entitled The Invisible Behind and Beyond the Visible, was presented by Professor Sylvia of Monday Room and Malamon on 4th April 2013. Furthermore, the sixth, entitled Dreadable on Pear Species, Biochemical Approach as Panetia, was presented by Professor Elizabeth Abile Mibalogun on 10th April 2014. While the seventh, entitled Knocking Down the Barrier to Four O'Clock Activities and Reproductive Inadequacy, was presented by Professor Musa Koyi Yakubu. <coughs> On 29 September 2016, all this lecture have addressed various aspects of basic and applied biochemistry, which include lipid, nutrition, toxicology, food biochemistry, membrane biochemistry, enzymology, and reproductive biochemistry. Today, I feel honored and privileged for the opportunity to deliver this 228th inaugural lecture of our great university, the University of Illinois, with the title Modulating the Mediator of Life Processing, the Strategic Place of Enzyme in Earth and Wellness. It is the eighth for the Department of Biochemistry, coming all those four years after my appointment as a professor of biochemistry. Introduction. <laughs> my journey started about 50 years ago when I was born to the family of Jumon, jo Joseph Jumon Yaya Arishi and Mary Odisha Bino Arishi, both of blessed memory, of Okakoko Ojo State. May God grant their soul eternal rest. Amen. After my secondary school education at African Church Grammar School of Okakoko Ojo State, I worked briefly as a laboratory assistant at the same school from 1991 to 1992 because I did not get my first choice for medicine at my first attempt into the university. I was so far admission to study biochemistry, but I declined the offer. In 1992, I was anxiously expecting my letter of admission for my first choice course from Jan, my second attempt. 
Order to get to the post office. Open the bus. Bus 29 to be precise. And found my admission letter, among other me. I was exhilarated. However, on a the day, the video, my letter of admission was for BSC by chemistry again. After a series of advice and consultation, I took the offer since I did not know anything about biochemistry then. But believe there must be a divine connection to biochemistry. According to God's purpose for my life, as stated in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 21, it is the Lord who bless your life. For each step you take is ordained by God to bring you closer to your destiny. So much of your life there remains a mystery. After my National Youth Service Corps came out of Akali Kevon, he says, strongly backed and encouraged by my uncle and my living father, Pigo, a large appetite bill, who paid for my application for and registration. I returned to my master program in Zymology and Biochemical Psychology at the final of Biochemical Professor of the Lorry in October 2000, under the supervision of Professor Sylvia Omani Remalomo, the immediate past Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academy, my academic mentor and mother. I was about rounding up my MSc program when I secured an appointment with Gwenon University, Okada, a dosage as an instant lecturer in the Department of Biochemistry, College of Health Sciences in 2001, under the leadership of my academic father, late Professor Adewali at Gola Bikuda. On the successful completion of my MSc, I furthered my academic pursuit by enrolling for PhD program under the supervision of Professor Sylvia Roman Lomo. It was during Ateno, as the head of the Department of Biochemistry that I applied to the Department of Biochemistry, University of Illinois, as an assistant lecturer. She was a catalytic mediator of my move to the University of Illinois on the 29th April 2003, and has remained one of the positive motivators of my journey, growth and productivity, till today. Biochemistry. As the name may suggest, biochemistry is a field of science that bridges the two traditional disciplines of biology and chemistry. If chemistry is the science of matter, then Biochemistry is the science of living matter. It is the study of substances found in living organisms, the changes they undergo during development and life of the organism, and metabolism by which energy is made available for life processing, including synthesis of various complex molecules. The issue of biochemistry spans approximately 400 years. The word biochemistry was coined by the German chemist and its upseller around 1890. Biochemistry governs all living organisms and living processes. Much of biochemistry this with the structures and functions of cellular components, such as protein, carbohydrate, lipids, nutric acid, and other bioavailable. Over the last 40 years, biochemistry has become so successful at explaining life processes that now almost all areas of the life sciences, from botany to medicine, are engaged in it. Biochemistry has profoundly touched on man's health and wellness, and on our understanding of the fatality for metabolic life processes taking place in living organisms. For example, the relationship between diet and disease was discovered in antiquity. Organ meat such as liver has long been known to cure night blindness. At that time, men wonder and marvel how this could be. Today, we know that liver is a good source of vitamin A. In the 18th century, poor liver oil was found used to treat cricket. Today, we know that poor liver oil is a good source of vitamin D. Juice of lemon was discovered to prevent the symptoms of COVID. Today, we know, through improved knowledge of biochemistry, that lemon juice is a good source of vitamin C. To understand life process, it is important to approach it in the simplest form. Life processes and enzyme mediator. The cell, as shown in figure one, is the simplest structural and functional unit of life that is capable of independent existence and able to perform life processes. All living organisms possess specific characteristics which differentiate them from non-living things. These characteristics are essential and play a crucial role in the overall health of the organism, be it plants or animal, prokaryotic or eukaryotic organism. The basic processes are known as life processes and they include nutrition, transportation, respiration, excretion, and reproduction. All these processes are sustained by enzyme-mediated chemical reactions that take place inside the living organism. The enzyme-mediated chemical reactions are called biochemical reactions. The sum of all the biochemical reactions in an organism is referred to as metabolism. All these processes function together in living organism to maintain life and well-being. However, when these processes get disrupted and there is a change, in their balance, it may result in disease conditions. Enzyme mediator. An enzyme is a remarkable molecular entity that participates in several biological tr transformation in living organisms. Going through the historical lineage to as early as the late 18th and early 19th century, the digestion of meat by stomach secretion and the conversion of starch to sugar by plant extra and saliva were known. However, the mechanism by which this occurred was not understood until 1878 when the German physiology coined the term enzyme from the Greek word meaning in living to describe this process. Enzymes are very effective biological catalysts that accelerate almost all metabolic reactions in living organisms by up to 10 square 6 to 10 square 18 fold. An enzyme generally works by reducing the amount of activation energy needed to start the reaction as shown in figure 2. A typical biochemical reaction that will take several days or even several years to occur without an enzyme is likely to occur in just a split of a second with the proper enzyme without enzymes to speed up biochemical reactions. 
life processes will be imperceptible. Inhibition and activation of enzymes and their application. Enzyme inhibitors and activators that modulate the rate of enzyme reaction play important role in the regulation of metabolic life processes. Enzyme activators are possible modulators of chemical compounds that increase the rate of enzymatic reaction. Enzyme inhibitors or negative modulators, on the other hand, are substances that reduce or destroy the activity of an enzyme after binding to it. Due to their unique catalytic efficiency and fidelity, enzymes have wide range of application in industry, diagnosis, molecular biology, therapy, and drug design. Industrial application of enzyme. Table 2 illustrates the broad application of enzyme in various industries, including pharmaceutical, food processing, detergent, biofuel, paper, and pork. Another important application of enzyme is in molecular biology as manipulative tool. Restriction enzyme are used to manipulate DNA for applications in pharmacology, agriculture, medicine, and forensic science. Fashion slow start. The manipulation of DNA to achieve improved product was for recorded in the Holy Bible. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the heart, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the heart. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created in him, male and female created he there. Genesis chapter 1, verse 22 to 27. Also, Genesis chapter 5, verse 2 reads, male and female created he there, and blessed them, and called their name, and called their name in the day when they were created. Adam, with due respect and honor to our mothers, sisters, wives, and daughters, the biblical account of the creation of man pointed out that in Adam was Eve. God did not create Adam and Eve. He created Adam, but inside Adam was Eve. Adam was an embodiment of male and female. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and God took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in his face. Genesis chapter 2, verse 21. We believe from this account that the rib donated by Adam's staff as the source from which the desired journey for the cloning of Eve came from. God was the first to perform cloning, enzymatic manipulation of DNA, to bring about improvement to the living state of man at that time. Enzymatic manipulation of DNA of what busy we achieve enhanced structural and compositional quality as well as battle addition. It is no surprise then that women are fearfully, exceptionally, and wonderfully made by God. Whatever you give a woman, she will make better. If you, make, if you give her a sperm, she will give you a baby. If you give her a house, she will give you a home. If you give her grocery, she will give you a meal. If you give her a smile, she will give you a heart. She multiplies and enlarges what is given to her. So if you give any, if you give her any crap, be ready to receive a ton of sheets. Also, also, genetic cloning to obtain desired trait is known to be characterized by a sensitive manif manifestation of some of the desired attributes, just like in the case of Dolly, the clone sheep. This may explain why God gave women ears and nails and they are now having their own. He gave them ears and nose, they are piercing and adding their own. God gave them eyes, skin and body, they are adding their own and changing the color. As we come back from the brief digression to the main topic, we do respect to our mothers, sisters, wives and daughters. It is incontestable that women remain the best, smartest and strongest of all the creatures of God. That's Application of enzymes as manipulative tools in forensic science involves techniques of tests used to investigate crime scene samples, such as saliva, blood, urine, air, sweat, and other bodily substances. This is where crime scene investigators inspect or analyze such crime scene samples using enzymes. We now know that through the use of enzymes as manipulative tools, disputed paternity and latest one can be resolved. Application of enzymes in diagnosis. The basic principle of using enzyme level for diagnosis disease is based on comparing the changes in blood activity of enzymes with that of normal state, as shown in Table 3. Enzymes are also very useful in the diagnosis of monitoring of the degree of deterioration, contamination, or functional recovery of soil, vegetation, and water bodies. Enzyme inhibitor and the application in drug design and therapy. Substances that reduce or suppress the activity of an enzyme after binding to it are known as enzyme inhibitor or negative modulator. Many cellular enzyme inhibitors are natural proteins of peptides that specifically bind to and inhibit target enzyme. Numerous metabolic life processes are modulated by this specific compound. Vashan Silosa. It is important to recall that many living organisms are in a state of chemical war. Fungi are fighting with bacteria for, for food using antibiotics. Most immobile organisms, like plants and some sea invertebrates, use different poisons to protect themselves from being eaten. Some vertebrates, like snakes, and invertebrates, like bees and wasps, use poison not only for defense, but also to get food. If we analyze the composition of this poison, we can find in their content a lot of various enzyme inhibitors. Poisons of plants and invertebrates were used as medicine several years back. If it however became clear in the 20th century that the poison contained various enzyme inhibitors. For example, bee venom contains many things that can interact with many enzymes to inhibit their activity. Other examples of natural inhibitors are cardiotonic steroids. 
that were found initially in plant. These compounds are useful for the treatment of heart failure by reversibly inhibiting the pumping function of, egg, of the enzyme sodium potassium ATP and stimulating the signaling function. Bachelor of Star, many pharmacological drugs are enzyme inhibitors. For example, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs such as aspirin, diclofenac, ibuprofen, and a lot of other are inhibitors of the enzyme cyclooxygenase, which catalyzes the first reaction step in the system of the biologically active compound prostaglandin. There are many other groups of drugs that, by their nature, are inhibitors of some enzyme and do have very important therapeutic significance. We have, for example, inhibitors of adjutensin converting enzyme, such as catoprene, fosinoprene, fosinoprene, and so on and so forth, which are widely used as drugs for treatment of hypertension. We also have from crop crop inhibitors, such as omeprazole, ribiprazole, and so on, used for the treatment of gastric and duodenal ulcer and gastroesophageal rectal disease. Also, there are enzyme inhibitors that are used as antiviral agents. For example, nucleoside rebound transcription and protein inhibitors that are usually recommended for the treatment of patients with acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Also, antitensin combating enzyme inhibitors have been employed to confront COVID-19 infection. Another enzyme inhibitor used as a producer is Viagra for the treatment of male erectile dysfunction. The drug negatively modulates the activity of the enzyme phosphodiesterase, thus making penile erection to last for a longer period of time. Enzyme inhibition remains an integral part of modern drug discovery. The advent and refinement of new technologies and modalities, including enzyme informatics, activation or inhibition of enzyme function by both synthetic and plant products, have stimulated a surge in drug discovery efforts, targeting enzyme. My research activity. Vice Chancellor Sir, I have had the triple role of teaching, conducting research and community service in more than three universities. And I have initiated and executed most of these research activities in collaboration with other colleagues for almost three decades of teaching biochemistry to medical and non-medical students. The modulation of enzyme mediators using modulators such as metal ion, plant extract, including proteins and peptides, natural and derivative legends, largely form the focus of my research effort towards finding solutions to some chronic diseases and environmental health challenges. My research contribution to biochemical physiology. This session captures my contribution involving determination of the activities of enzyme mediator, among other, as synthesis of toxicity or cellular damage. Vice Chancellor Sir, in the publication of the Sun newspaper of 2 December 2022, a state coordinator of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDA, said it has commenced its sensitization on dangers associated with drug abuse in the state. It described the state of drug abuse among you as worrisome adding that the agency impact on the sensitization to address the many which has increased risk related to their well-being and health, as well as the safety of the general population. One of the abuse tendencies is the common practice among alcohol drinkers to swallow antibiotics with ethanol or consume alcohol during antibiotic therapy. We, Malomo, Arishé, Kolo Runiji, Odutuka, and Adebayo, 2004, investigated the effect of combined administration of spectinomycin and antibiotics and this are on some biochemical parameters of rat kidney. The result will be a significant reduction in the rat kidney lactic diabetes activity, among other parameters. And we concluded that the concurrent intake of alcohol with antibiotic is toxic to the kidney and the body as a whole. Actually, among 2005, also investigated the effect of prolonged and repeated use of apamentine and abetazole combination on the activities of rat kidney and calicosuatus and aminotransferase. We reported that this repeated combined administration for 15 days altered the activities of rat kidney enzyme. This will be that the prolonged and repeated use of the combination may be examples of toxicity on the kidney. As a follow-up to the above finding, Arishi and Maloma in 2006 further investigated and compared the effects of abamentine and pentazole and their combination for a series of studies, and we concluded that the structural differences and lack of felicity exhibited by the two drugs may be responsible for their negative synergistic population of the microsomal enzyme, another component of rat hepatic and brain endoplastic reticulum. Arishi and Maloma. 2009-8, Arishé and Malomo 2012. In another related study, Arishé Ector 2012-A reported significant alteration in the activity of acid phosphatase, lactate diabetes, sodium potassium, and calcium adenium antipases of rat liver, kidney, and brain. Following repeated and prolonged administration of abamectin and abedazine, this finding suggested that the repeated and prolonged combined administration may be toxic to the liver, kidney, and brain cell. Arishé Ector 2013 further investigated and reported the potential of vitamin E at reversing the negative modulatory effect of the combined administration in rat. Vice Chancellor Sir, the consumption of the crude extract of paper flower leaves, particularly in the northern part of Nigeria, as a remedy for diabetes, led us, Malomon, Adebayo, Arishé, Oloroniji, and Egwin in 2006 to investigate the effect of the crude extract of paper flower on some liver and kidney function disease in rat. The results show that consumption of the crude extract may negatively modulate liver and kidney function enzyme. Why eucalyptus globulus leaf contain high levels of phenol and tapenol, which may negatively modulate metabolic life processes? Animals, such as the koala, which eats eat globulus leaf, have developed detoxifying enzyme for these compounds in their liver. In addition to the presence of bacteria which degrade tannic protein complexes, most animals, however, do not possess this attribute 
Does the result. So the target is the effect of paper SRT global on um, selected enzymes of rad liver. I will share it all, 2009B, concluded that APS extract of e globular leaves, despite its acclaimed antidiabetic efficacy, may have negative modulatory effect on liver membrane structural and functional integrity. I will share it all, 2011A and 2012B, in a separate study. In a separate study also reported that the APS extract of bamboo leaves and not like the step, known as a in Yoruba, may contain some toxic substances that may negatively modulate the endogenous glutathione capacity of the liver and kidney. My research contribution to drug development. Vice Chancellor, sir. My research effort in drug development can be categorized into two. A. Search for modulator of some enzyme implicated in the pathogenesis of diabetes, peptic ulcer, hypertension, diarrhea, and malaria. Search for possible modul B. Search for possible modulator or potentiators of some enzyme activity for improved protection against infection. A. In the search for antidiabetic agent. Diabetes. Diabetes mellitus is a condition in which the body is unable to control blood glucose levels adequately, leading to high levels resulting from different insulin secretion, insulin action, or both. The most common is type 2 diabetes, which occurs when the body becomes resistant to insulin or doesn't make enough insulin. Type 1 diabetes or insulin dependent diabetes is a chronic condition in which the pancreas produces little or no insulin. In any individual, fasting blood glucose levels range from 3 to 6 millimoles per liter. This range is maintained by the action of insulin and glucagon as required after eating during exercise or fasting. Without enough insulin, the cells of the body cannot absorb sufficient glucose from the blood into cells to be stored or used for energy. If the glucose level in the blood remains high over a long period of time, this can result in long-term damage to organs, such as the kidney, liver, eyes, nerves, heart, and blood vessels. Complications in some of these organs can lead to death. The WHO project that diabetes will be the seventh leading cause of death by 2030. And according to the report, the number of people living with diabetes worldwide will increase from 537 to 552 million by 2030 unless action is taken. It has been predicted that the number of cases may jump by 90% in Africa. An approach to control elevated blood sugar after a meal, apart from lifestyle changing with diet and exercise, is to delay intestinal glucose absorption through the modulation of standard digestion enzymes. In mama, six enzymes, two amphibiases and four apaglucosidases are involved in the complete digestion of starch into glucose. Figure 6 shows how apaglucosidase and apaglucosidase begin capillary digestion in the stomach and intestine and how they are modulated by inhibitor to achieve normal blood glucose level. This is important in people with type 2 diabetes, where low levels of insulin prevent extracellular glucose from being easily extracted from the blood. The need to develop new antidiabetic drugs led up to the screening of some indigenous plants for their ability to modulate the activities of this carbohydrate digesting enzyme. I will show you 2014A and 2016A. Investigated the DB profile, blood sugar modulatory and antioxidant activity of extract of stem bark and root of acacia as a tatanti, also known as flameton in English and in in Yoruba, in diabetic crab, and concluded that the normal modulation of blood sugar and liquid of that may be due to the antioxidant property of the plant, of the plant extract. Also, I will show you a topic 2018A. Investigated in the antidiabetic of ethanolic extract of cocorus polyturum leaves, known as jute leaves in English and Iwebi in Yoruba, in diabetic crab, and concluded that ethanolic leaf extract of C. auditorum possesses normal glycemic property with no major side effect, and a way to could be considered safe for the management of diabetes. I will show you a top 16 b Also, the study the antidiabetic and antioxidant effect of oral administration of ethanolic extract of moringa oleifera flower in diabetic crab. We concluded that the plant extract exhibited blood glucose lowering potential and improved lipid metabolism. Thus, it may be beneficial in preventing diabetic complications arising from oxidative stress. Vice Chancellor Sam, food proteins are of great interest in biochemistry due to their beneficial role to human health. Food peptide with alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase modulatory activity can serve as a safer and efficacious alternative for managing diabetes. I will share top 2016C. Investigated and reported the in vitro alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase inhibitory and antioxidant activity of protein hydrolysis enzymatically obtained from watermelon seed and ugu seed, Abura and Arisha 2022 further concluded that watermelon and ugu seed possess profound antidiabetic potential which may be explored as drug candidate for the management of diabetes in the search for anti ulcer agent. Peptic ulcer is one of the most common diseases of the gastrointestinal tract with prevailing incidence which if not addressed can increase mortality. There are three types of peptic ulcer. Gastric ulcer, ulcer that develop in the stomach, the sophagia ulcer, ulcer that develop in the supergol, duodenal ulcer, ulcer that develop in the upper section of the small intestine, called duodenal. Hypersecretion of hydrochloric acid by the enzyme, proton potassium ATPs, blockade of cyclooxygenase enzyme system by non-cellular anti-inflammatory drugs, 
in addition to helicobacter pylori mediated cytotoxicity and stress are responsible for gastric concentration. Sustainable effort and constant research have led to the development of several antioxidant drugs, such as total production ATP inhibitor like omeprazole, histamine receptor blocker like cimetidine, and helicobacter pylori inhibitor like amosicillin. However, the majority of them have been documented to pose problems of adverse effects. In the light of this, we screen some indigenous plants for their ability to modulate the activity of proton potassium ATP and cyclooxygenase among other mediators. Arisha is top 2014B, Idowu and Arisha 2020, and Idowu, Sadi, Fakoredi and Arisha 2021. In separate study, investigated the modulatory potential of Akasha Tazganta and Edemo Mesicada Lee extra on proton potassium ATP, cyclooxygenase, and antioxidant enzyme activity, and on the growth of H. pylori, and concluded that the plant leaf extra display oxeroprotein property by positively modulating production of mucus and glycoprotein and antioxidant enzyme activity in the mucosal membrane of gastric ulcerative heart model. Adewale and Arishi 2021 also investigated the ulcerative melioration principle of ethanol leaf extra of the nucleus acordifolus, known as three spinach in English and for Jerusalem in Yoruba, in gastric ulcerative heart model. Our finding revealed that the plant extra negatively modulated proton potassium ATP and pepsin activity why it's possibly modulated mucosa, mucosa gland issue, mucus and energy for production. Drugs it will be explored for the development of effective and safer antioxidant drugs in the search for antihypertensive agent. Vaccine to uh, The uncontrolled high blood pressure of hypertension is one of the leading causes of disease and death, and death worldwide. According to the current American Heart Association Hypertension Guidelines of 2020, hypertension is now confirmed when systolic blood pressure is regularly greater than equal to 130 millimeter mercury. And diastolic blood pressure is greater than equal to 80 millimeter mercury. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to complications accounting for 31% of all. This implies that 17.7 million people die annually due to complications arising from uncontrolled high blood pressure. Hypertension affects approximately a quarter of adults worldwide and more than 1 billion individuals in both developed and developing countries. The affected population is predicted to increase to more than 1.5 billion by 2025 an increase of about 50%, and it's estimated to result in 3.3 million deaths in 2030. The inhibition of adjutensin combating enzyme, an important enzyme in the renin adjutensin system, has remained an effective strategy in the management of hypertension. The blood pressure of a mama is chiefly regulated by the renin adjutensin system. Inhibition of adjutensin combating enzyme reduces vasoconstriction and artery stiffness, among others. Why extreme adjutensin combating enzyme activity leads to elevated amount of adjutensin 2? causing a high vasoconstriction rate and therefore resulting in high blood pressure. Hence, the management of blood pressure requires the use of compounds that can inhibit ACE activity, thereby producing and maintaining the homostatic amount of adjutensin 2, as shown in figure 10. Nonetheless, the usage of synthetic ACE inhibitor as antihypertensive has numerous adverse effects like low blood pressure, dry cough, and swelling underneath the skin. Thus, the need for natural, safer, and effective modulator of these enzyme mediators. In our continuous search for safer, effective, and endogenously related negative modulators of adjutensin while combating enzyme, we investigated the in vitro antihypertensive, anti radical, and hydrogen peroxide scavenging property of enzymatically obtained protein hydrolysis from some plant seed storage protein. Arisha Ito 2016G and Arisha Ito 2019A reported that watermelon and moringa lateral seed protein hydrolysis contain bioactive peptide that may be exploited as potential food sources of antioxidant and antihypertensive agent. Arisha Ito 2019B also concluded that lupus lipidal seed protein hydrolysis contain peptide that may play critical and indispensable role as bio 2 in hypertension treatment. Arisha Ito 2021A also reported that cashew nut protein hydrolysis Tepify, German sources of noble blood pressure and sugar regulating biopeptide for enhanced wellness and as alternative sources of essential amino acids. Furthermore, Arisha Ito 2019C also found out that neem seed protein actually is rich in peptide that will offer protection to the heart, thus will be formulated as non transitical for managing oxidative stress related diseases, including hypertension. Arisha Ito 2021B also investigated the in vitro antioxidant and angiotensin combating and the one combating enzyme modulatory property of peptides and polyphenol contained in cocoa pod oil and concluded that the enzymatically derived cocoa pod oil protein hydrolysate and polyphenol rich fashion may be an effective source of natural and one combating enzyme in 
and antioxidant with potential blood pressure regulating activity, which will be explored for the development of antihypertensive drug. In the last of our study on the discovery of potent modulator of agitation combating enzyme with antioxidant property, we had the way through the Bunari Shamalo 2021 published a review article of South African spices and seeds with antihypertensive potential in the Journal of Food Biochemistry by Willie, wherein we emphasize that some of the spices of seed, such as scent leaf, garlic, ginger, turmeric, African local bean, and thyme, may be used as safer dietary alternative therapy alongside common antihypertensive medication in the South for anti diarrhea agent. Diarrhea is a major health threat to people in the tropical and subtropical country. Diarrhea occurs when there is an imbalance between absorption and secretion of water and electrolyte in the gastrointestinal tract. Sodium potassium ATPase enzyme maintain the electrochemical gradient required for sodium ion absorption and eventually water reabsorption. The activity of the enzyme is negative modulated in all types of diarrhea. Also, cyclooxygenase EDP enzyme responsible for the synthesis of prostaglandin. Prostaglandin elicit net secretion of flu by inhibiting sodium absorption. Vice President Sir, we Ahmed Arisha and Sudi 2020, Ahmed Arisha Umaru and Mohammed 2022, and Ahmed Arisha and Umaru 2022 investigated the potential of stem and root back extra of another Senegalese, Senegalese, popularly known as African Cossack Apple in English and Abo in Yoruba, to positively modulate the activity of sodium potassium ATP and some antioxidant enzymes while negatively modulating the cycle of the 2 and concluded that the extra exerted its anticipatory activity via antioxidation, negative modulation of prostaglandin synthesis and positive modulation of sodium potassium ATP activity. B. Search for positive modulator of potentiator of some enzyme activity for improved protection against infection. Patient to sir, in our search for modulatory agent, that is substances that can boost and improve immune responses and protection against infection. We focus on the membrane bond enzyme, alkaline phosphatase. Alkaline phosphatase is present in most parts of the body and is richly spread at sites such as lung and gastrointestinal tract, where antigen such as lipopolysaccharide may likely enter blood circulation. In order to understand the role of this enzyme and the potential for overall improved effect, when two different modulators are bound to an enzyme mediator, we Malamon, Oloroniji, Arishi, Adebayo, Adedosu, and Odutuga in 2003 investigated the synergistic effect of two linear inhibitors on rapid liver alkaline phosphatase activity and discovered that the combined effect of the two inhibitors were mutually enhanced. We further concluded that magnesium iron, either as a positive modulator at optimal concentration or negative modulator at supraoptimal level, exerted its action via a DMAS effect, Arishi in 2005. We, Oloroniji, Igunu, Adebayo, Arishi, and Malamon 2007 also found out that there was this synergistic interaction between magnesium Ion and zinc ion, which is F in promoting the upregulation of kidney alkaline phosphatase. Arisha in 2008 and 2008 B reported the positive modulatory effect of cobalt ion and magnesium ion on alkaline phosphatase activity and suggested that cobalt ion may be employed as a better cofactor than magnesium in clinical and diagnostic application. In order to fully elucidate the mechanism of modulation of alkaline phosphatase activity, we, Igunu, Arisha, Adebayo, Hamalo, 2012 and 2014, investigated the time dependent modulatory effect of magnesium and zinc ion on monoesterate activity of calcium, in, calcium ion inhibited calf intestinal alkaline phosphatase and concluded that the modulation of calcium ion inhibited cap intestinal alkaline phosphate activity by magnesium ion and zinc ion may be explored in the treatment and prevention of disorder of bone mineralization. Vice Chancellor, sir, the combined and synergized efforts of our team in understanding the role of alkaline phosphate in endothelial injury protection led to the investigation of the effect of taurine on the activity of l phenylalanine inhibited rat intestinal alkaline phosphate and concluded that the activation of rat intestinal alkaline phosphate modulated by taurine in the presence of l phenylalanine may be an alternative immunological mechanism against endothelial injury. Arisha in 2015 In another related study, we reported how taurine and vitamin E protected against cigarette smoke induced changes in lung alkaline phosphate, sodium potassium. ATP and calcium magnesium ATP activity among other mediators. Arisha in 2021C. Arisha in 2022 also found out that enhancement in the activity of intestinal alkaline phosphate by taurine and sodium butyrate may further emphasize the role of alkaline phosphate in alternative bacterial life polysaccharide mediated disease. The implication of this is a regular and moderate intake of food rich in taurine, health phenylalanine, and vitamin E, such as chicken, egg, yogurt, almond, and cashew nut. We here to synergistically up upregulate intestinal alkaline phosphatase activity towards offering protection against bacteria and other microbial acid. My research contribution to bioremediation. Vice Chancellor Sir. So after my research effort, I also focused on the modulation of enzyme mediators among others towards finding solution to some environmental health challenges. This aspect follows that bioremediation, which uses bacteria, fungi, green plants, and their enzymes to return contaminated environment to its natural edge states. 
in order to provide useful indicator to monitor levels and excess of water pollution, as well as the role of co-founder containing effort. I wish a top 20 level B, investigated and reported the presence of calcium phosphate, of calcium phosphate zinc ion, and magnesium ion in Niger River water, and concluded that this may be one mechanism by which water pollution through phosphorus containing contaminants, such as detergent, fertilizer, and animal waste from homes, industry, and families are removed or reduced. We, Osteoma, Akonji, and Arishi 2013, and Arishi Top 2013 B, also revealed modulation in the hepatic activity of selected enzyme of Kaya Garipinos for Swamp and Ampokori Eroke Petroleum Restoration Area in Delta C, suggesting that the fish could be employed as biomarkers of contamination in, environment, in environmental monitoring of crude oil pollution. Arishi Top 2015 B also investigated the biochemical changes in atoms and water leak Remediation of heavy metal from a very cocoa petroleum flow swamp of better in Nigeria and concluded that the atom enzyme may be a good candidate for the assessment of stress pollution and that thalidium triangulae water lead could be used for commercial and environmentally friendly title remediation. Also, Arisha Top 2021D reported the biochemical alteration in lubricant resistance enzyme and remediation capacity of new plant. Bashar said that the increasing concern about pollution that occurs from agricultural and industrial waste posing environmental health challenges stimulated our interest in the combining of waste material into commercially valuable products such as enzyme. We isolated processing used to involve technology, biotechnology, pharmacy and agriculture from a cleaner craft piece known as water ayasi and pista stereotypes known as water lettuce in England and in Juro in Yoruba. Arishay Ito 2016G and Arishay Ito 2018C reported the isolation, purification, and characterization of peroxidase from water ionizing and lettuce leaf with the conditions and factors which could identify the enzyme process for industrial application and the consequent removal or reduction of this weed from water body or weed. Arishay Ito 2020 also reported that water melon ring may be employed as a local source of inverters for application in the production of jam, confectionery, digestive egg tablet, and powder meat for impact, with consequent remediating effects on the environment. My current research in molecular biology and enzyme informatics. Vice Chancellor Sir, by informatics integrate knowledge in molecular biology with computer and programming skills essential for success in life sciences. In July 2015, the then Vice Chancellor, Professor Abu Dhabi Ambali, approved my training and certification in molecular biology and bioinformatics at New England BioLab, Boston, Massachusetts, United States of America. The training and exposure sharpened my skill. And at the end of the training, I was able to clone a Sinoaptis elegant bearing mouse RNA, as shown in Figure 19, in collaboration with Professor Steve Williams, a guest professor of biological sciences and biochemistry at Smith College and the University of Massachusetts, Boston, USA. One of the importances of cloning C. elegant bearing mammalian gene is to be able to carry out studies involving enzyme modulation targeted at drug discovery for humans. We are currently focusing on identification of RNA and ACE inhibitor with improved efficacy with little or no side effects by exploring the available structural RNA and ACE inhibitor beta via Lijan and structure based pharmacophore modeling. At present, we have dubbed a total of 207,062 compounds against RNA and adjutancy converting enzyme using a screening workflow. We are hopeful that the results which will be obtained from this study and related one will provide important data for the national design of noble antipotency with improved formidable kinetics and pharmacodynamic properties. Conclusion. The phenomenon of enzyme catalysis makes possible biochemical reactions necessary for whole life processes. And the living cell is the site of tremendous biochemical activities called metabolism that characterize life. Enzymes are the mediators of these life processes. Without enzyme, life will be inconceivable. Because this chemical reaction would have been taking place at a rate far too slow for the pain of metabolism. Any disruption or modulation in the activities of these mediators of life processes may result into a disease or improved health condition. I have shown how biochemistry is influencing mass health and wellness, and the modulation of the catalytically mediated life processes in punishment of healthy living and promotion of well being for all. Our contribution in the areas of biochemical and environmental toxicology, involving the basic principle of using enzyme level for diagnosis of disease and environmental health, as well as potential and also substances, were highlighted. I also delved in, into how we use plant extract, proteins, and peptides for blood pressure and sugar modulation, employing adjutacin 1 converting enzyme, alpha amylase, and alpha glucosidase, among others, and not leaving out peptic ulcer, diarrhea, and malaria. Our work on alkali phosphatase and nitric oxide synthase modulation emphasize their role in protection against infection and cellular damage. We are currently using molecular biology and enzyme informatics as tools to predict potential modulators and enzyme targets for hypertension and diabetes, among others, as a way of contributing to the attainment of United Nations global goal 
I have been employing modulators like metal ions, plant extra, including proteins and peptides, and other ligands to modulate the mediators of life processing as a strategy to achieving health and wellness. Recommendation. The following are recommended to the target audience. General public, let your food nutrient be your medicine. Let your food nutrient be the enzyme modulators. Our common indigenous fresh vegetable, fruit and nuts are very rich in antioxidants, short peptides and micronutrients. And studies have shown that they are good modulators of relevant enzymes with potential to prevent and protect against diseases like diabetes, hypertension and ulcer. Coporous or litorous meat, a way do have potent blood sugar modulatory and immune boosting activity. I therefore recommend is increased regular and general consumption. Two, the general public is by advice against the practice of concurrent intake of drugs such as antibiotics with alcohol and the use of gallen and tiro as well as exposure of skin to use lubricating oil because of the danger or harm inherent in their practice. In the practice. Three, the inclusion of fresh ugu fruits and leaves and watermelon seeds as components of fresh vegetable salad, especially for pre-diabetes and diabetes because of their potent and safe blood sugar modulatory ability is, here, is hereby recommended. Four, the general public is enjoined to cultivate the regular intake of cashew nut, both at home and offices, because of its blood sugar and pressure modulatory capacity, as well as air, yogurt, and food that are good sources of taurine, health alanine, and vitamin E, because of their synergistic enhancement of alkaline phosphatase enzyme activity for improved immunological response and protection against microbial infection to the researcher. Researchers should embark on more collaborative research efforts with industry as well as clinical and representative study so that most of the research output will not be left to gather drugs on the shelf but develop into beneficial products. Industries, industry like pharmaceutical, food and drink should found research as part of their corporate social responsibility to the government. Government agencies such as NADA, the SUN and other relevant agencies should do more in their regulatory efforts to subject new products to standard psychological evaluation procedure. Eight, more than half of all known drugs act by inhibiting or modulating enzyme. Therefore, understanding the structure and function of enzyme is important for drug design and target prediction. To take advantage of this science with the result to enhance the drug discovery effort by utilizing as raw material of a bad medicinal plant, there is a need to adequately fund the provision of essential facility and training of more biochemists in mechanistic enzymology and enzyme informatics. To the university, biochemistry is the pivot of all life sciences. The equipment for teaching, training, and research are capital intensive. Thus, there is a need to adequately fund and equip the laboratories and classrooms with the set of the art equipment and facility that will, ask, that will enhance teaching, training, and research. Third, biochemistry is a service department to other programs like medicine, pharmacy, nursing, veterinary medicine, anatomy, physiology, medical laboratory science, optometry and visual science, microbiology, plant biology, zoology, and agriculture. The Department of Biochemistry University of Bologna has always been started with the responsibility of teaching biochemistry students, medical students and others. I believe that the best brains and hands to teach biochemistry to medical students and others should be biochemists that major in the subject before you can only give what you have. The situation where we now have non-core -bi non biochemists teaching biochemistry to our medical students should be looked into and corrected. Biochemists with special interest in clinical and medical biochemistry should be engaged to teach biochemistry to medical students. That is why the chemistry of life processes would have been correctly modulated by the right mediators. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Glory, honor, and power to the one who reigns forever. Without God, my existence would have been inconceivable and imperceptible. I hold all my achievement now and forever to do. The maker, modulator, and mediator of the entire universe and all life forms place so many people as human mediators on my way who have facilitated my progress in life. Sir, permit me to publicly acknowledge these human mediators that I have been privileged to come across and have positively modulated my life course. I owe a debt of gratitude to my parents, Mr. Joseph Jimo Arishi and Mrs. Mary Uchibino Arishi, both of blessed memory. You both sacrificed all you have to ensure the reality of today. We your children, we appreciate you. Your memories are unforgettable. I have tried and I'm still trying my best. For humanity, as you have always admonished, and I believe you were not disappointed. <laughs> Thank you, appreciation to my late uncle, Honorable Adefe Michael Arishi, for his encouragement and support. He had prepared and even bought his attire for my inaugural lecture, but God chose to call him home exactly a year ago. My uncle, Elijah Fadai Bello, 
It's not just an uncle, but my living father. He's too solidly in support of my academic pursuit by ensuring he paid for my MSc application form and the program. Daddy, I hold you in debt of gratitude. For all your support, God will continually honor and bless you and grant you more years in Jesus' name. I also appreciate my late father-in-law, Otumba Adekunle Dayoba, for blessing my life with his first daughter. My mother-in-law, Omoba Oluwa Yemisi Dayoba, the year I just said, Michael Adekan Church, Ilara Moki, hasn't just been an in-law, but a mother whose wisdom and inspiration are her opening examples. I extend my deepest and most heartfelt thank you for everything that you are, without leaving her, the sisterhood and their families. I appreciate all my mothers in Ojiago Company, the case and the company in the of Kakoko will not say for their love and support at the first phases of my life. I thank the present administrative team of the University of Illori, under the leadership of our dear Vice Chancellor, Professor Wahab, Olashu Kwebe Wali, the civil deputy, Professor Bayo Nukumi, a great mentor, who constructively read through the draft of this inaugural lecture, and SF Ambali, and other paper officers for this opportunity. I also expect my sincere appreciation to the immediate past Vice Chancellor, Professor Suleiman Agia Kari, for his support, encouragement, and love. I became a professor during his tenure, and he found me worthy of appointment as chairman of the Lawyer Timetable and Rule Business Committee in 2020, and as chairman of the Lawyer Press Management Board in 2022. He recommended me to the then Vice Chancellor, Professor Isha Kouloyede, and supported my appointment as the chairman to the Lawyer Quiz and Debate in 2009. Thank you, sir, for the love and trust. I also thank Professor Abdali Yamali, former Vice Chancellor of the University of for the enabling environment and encouragement he gave the Lori Quiz and Debate, which led to the success story and rating of the university nationally and internationally. I also acknowledge this role in approving my training and certification in molecular biology and laser informatics in 2015 at New England Biolab, and Boston Association, USA. Thank you, sir. I thank my primary and secondary school teacher, special appreciation to my dear principal, Mr. Fabian Ramo, and my English teacher, Mr. Bessie S. Elebele, for providing the content foundation for my education. I am very grateful to my academic mentor and father, late Professor Adewale Agbola Dutuga, for his various contribution to my life. Professor Dutuga supervised my BSc project and mediated my appointment at the Northern University as assistant lecturer. May his dear continue to rest in peace. And may God Almighty continue to bless and keep his family. I am entirely grateful to my academic mentor and mother, the immediate past deputy vice chancellor, academic, Professor Sylvia Oboni Rume Malogon, who began to nurture me from my undergraduate days. She supervised my undergraduate seminar, my MSc dissertation, and my PhD thesis. And just like Professor Dutuga facilitated my appointment at the Guyana University in 2001, she is the catalytic mediator of my appointment as assistant lecturer at the University of Illinois in 2003. Mama, as I fondly called her, as she made my mentor, and one of the positive modulators of my life journey, growth and academic achievement today. Thank you, Mama, for taking out time to correct the draft of this lecture. I have benefited tremendously from the mentorship of Professor Musba Adewumi Akonji, Fellow of, Academy of, Fellow of Academy of Science and former Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Technology, Mina, and Alipman University, Ilori. From my undergraduate days till now, it was Professor Akonji that came to my house and sat me down very early in my career to remind me that I cannot go far as an academician without quality research and publication. He is a mentor of mentors and teacher of teachers. He gave me the first and the only opportunity to officially co supervise the PhD with him. He will not allow me to go to school since my appointment as a professor about four years ago. He was always urging me to bring my draft in the for correction and inputs. Professor Akonji painstakingly read through the draft, corrected, and returned it back to me in two days. He is a positive motivator for the success of this lecture. Thank you, sir. God will continue to bless you and all you and grant you love your life. I also thank Professor Isho Biolo, a former vice chancellor of the University of Shubu and Sony University of Akonji mentorship. Also appreciated are the contributory roles of Professor Sio Gavaji and Professor Sabi A. Balogun, West in Lom, and I should express the depth of my gratitude. I appreciate the private Bachelor's Law of the Federal University of Technology and Foreign, Professor Lady Ketri Lavalaji, for her support and encouragement. The current Dean of Students Affairs, Professor M. Pinapu, Fellow Academy of Science, despite his very tight schedule, read and corrected this draft, the first draft of this lecture. Thank you for the valuable suggestion and advice. I especially acknowledge the University of Illinois Library and Computer Committee, headed by Professor A. Yadui, for the thorough editorial review of this lecture. I thank the head of the of our chemistry, Professor J. Walibari, and my colleagues in the department, Dr. Suleiman, Ikunu, Salau, Nafi, Kordi, Uyekoki, Uyekala, Uyekala, Dr. Maliwa, Uyekala, and Mrs. Kumar. The technologies and other non-teaching staff are acknowledged for ensuring conducive work atmosphere. Give it
retired, but not retired senior chief technologist. Mr. J. Wadubari is a colleague. I especially acknowledge Professor J. Wadubari and the Labs Wadubari and the Wille for their encouragement and support. I am grateful to the Dean of my faculty, Professor Patricia F. Wadubari, for her cooperation. When I'm members of staff of the faculty, I also acknowledge. I appreciate my research chief, collaborator and associate, Professor Zubuti Medi, Femi Olorunich, Steve Wille, Omer Rekusa Osewugi, Olu Atosi Adramoli, Ishwe Adoyewali, Ali Nikutela, Lamid Usman, Ali Renan Labi, Trent Trawe, Omala Adwani, Tari Opadiji, Raphael Okonji, Imari Adali, Sonny Josaya, and Senma Kesosa, and many others to the mirror to mention. The Baru Bamoli, Bakemi Class of 19, and Akko 91, are specially appointed. My students at different level of my teaching and research in media, especially at the BSc, MSc, and PhD level, are acknowledged. I would like to specifically acknowledge the seven doctoral students that have graduated under my supervision. Dr. Shome Jobe, Senior Lecturer at Federal University of Philippines, Paris, Asti. Dr. Ayodeji, Yogubi, Lecturer 1 at Federal University of Medical Science, Nakoji. Dr. Mira Mamed, also a Senior Lecturer at Federal University of University, Igola. Dr. Lua Shima Broy, Lecturer 1 at Federal University, Adrenit. Dr. Mabel Ashu, Lecturer 2 at Naman University, Umaro. Mistress Elizabeth Sony, Secretary of the Department of Academy, Uri Lori. And Adeni Keadewali of Adai Kada University, New York. To all that, that are currently under my supervision. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm also grateful to the following men of God, Venerable Professor Emos Idowu, Venerable J. Oidowu and Reverend J. O. T. Akande, all of Church of Nigeria Agrican Communion, the Living Faith Church Pastorates, including Pastor Topher Johnson, Adek Kule Defi, Samson Abadurin, and others are also acknowledged. Pastor Titi Aboeji, Gift Iwashi, and Prophet Oloidi are appreciated. Thank you for your prayers and support. I appreciate the Macedonian Union for the Living Faith Church first shot at the Church Guru in Lorry. Especially acknowledged is Engineer Bayo Palikula, Chairman and CEO of Intertech Engineering Services for his uncommon law, encouragement, and support. And Mr. Ayo Oweye, CEO of Matador Data Performance for his encouragement. I thank all my friends, specifically Dr. Kukiri Romo, Sima, Federal Teaching Hospital in Rio, a friend that seated closer than the brother, for always standing by me for secondary school days. Dr. Shola Fetoba, for ever loving and caring. Wali Apakaki, for his love and care. KBAC, Charles Rotimi, Okumoladi, for his numerous support. Dr. Bode Udemila, for his uncommon care and love. National Abitadri, Dr. Winnie, Tuli Dami, and Dr. Winnie, for the entire education, and for the day, are all acknowledged. My appreciation also goes to my uncles and aunt cousins, Jake Indai Okumoladi, Pastor Frank Okumoladi, Dr. Lee and Inela Okumoladi, Mr. Rafiq and Rafiq Sani, Alaji Olakule Sani, Mrs. Speaker Kolawali, Mr. and Mrs. Sani Okumoladi, Pastor Steve, and Dr. Wolola Arish and Mr. Karo Yabishu. I acknowledge my siblings for their support of broken love and oneness. Especially acknowledge is Inspector Tola Adebayo and Shikola. They are really good to be no one. You tended my crush name with my mother. Thank you. God will also take care of me. Mrs. Fumila Yatere, they are really good to be no two. My first and only lesson teacher. You taught me how to read and write. God bless you. Mrs. Björn Hassan, thank you. Olaluwa Peter Arishi, Pastor Dr. Arishi and Tudi Arishi, and their spouses and children. Thank you for your understanding, tolerance, and prayers. To my children, Timmy Dai, Timmy Lola, and Timmy Jerry, you are the best. Thanks for your love, perseverance, and understanding for making parenting enjoyable. Your very considerate attitude kept me going and gave me the inner energy to put on the whole armor. The act of SDL, thanks for helping me most of the diagram in this presentation. I give, glory, I give glory to God for the special gift of God to my life. I especially recognize my friend of 22 years, Dr. Adi Bola Kerusola Arishi, my pillar of support, the Minister of Home Affairs, and my GIST partner. I appreciate all you do. Abim Bim, Allah You are the part of my life that positively modulates my heart and marks my fears. This inaugural lecture is dedicated to you, my woman modulator number one. You up, you up modulate and downmodulate my activity in responsiveness to environmental changes. There are very few things in life more powerful than to have someone who believes in you. You are a pilot Thank you for believing in you from the very start. Passion to start. In appreciation, I'm to give a lasting and sustainable honor to my academic mentor. Our foundation, the Arishi, for the Arise for the People Foundation, is instituting an endowment fund of about 500,000 in the name of Professor Sylvia Benjamin Malawong for another 50,000 Naira Prize to the 
existing partner of uh, the other Mrs. Wife, Dr. of the Department of Food and Commons and Food Science. We are waiting for you to mount the podium very soon. Congratulations and best wishes. We thank each and every one of you for coming to grace this occasion with us. University of